Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Stephanie. I'm back. Sup? What's popping? Let's put some makeup on my face and talk. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some things I learned in my teenage years because I've never seen anyone do this kind of video. Like, it's always like, oh, things I learned in my 20s. I've not reached my 20s. I'm entering my 20s. So I'm like, why don't I talk about what I've learned in my teens? Why not? So let's talk about it. So yeah, if you'd like to see that, then keep on watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Oh, somebody, oh, somebody. I'm going to literally be winging this. I did not plan this video. I'm just gonna talk about it because it's stuff I went through, so I should be able to talk about it i'm turning 20 soon this year which is crazy to me i started my channel when i was 14 so you guys have kind of you know followed me through my journey of teenage life first thing i would say i learned is relationships come and go and that's okay you know this leads me to so many other things like some people just aren't like you like i spent a lot of my time wondering why people didn't think like me or why people would do things that i just would never do to them but you know first thing i had to quickly realize and learn is that not everyone is you not everyone is, thinks like you not everyone is built like you <laughs> to be honest like I'm not saying i'm perfect and i'm without fault fault or anything like that there's just a way I, I process things that I just expect everyone else to process things that way and that's not always the case. People are who they are and you can't force anyone to see things the way you do. So I lost friendships. I was in positions where people did really like insane things to me and I felt really betrayed by people. But one thing about me is that I will forgive and forget kind of like of course you never really forget but you know i truly forgive the person i don't constantly remind them of anything because i understand that you know people people aren't without fault and like maybe sometimes i really shouldn't have forgiven people so easily but that's just who i am and i you know i'm not going to change that and like i make mistakes every day and you make mistakes every day we all make mistakes every day and god forgives us so who am i not to forgive someone for making a mistake especially like as a teenager like we're so young we're making we're constantly like doing dumb things and making mistakes so i forgive people a lot very easily but i found that when i would do something that is not even like a quarter of what that person has done to me or some would even argue i did nothing wrong in some situations some people just would not be able to find it in their hearts to forgive and like I just never understood that so yeah the first um, lesson is to let those relationships go like some relationships are made to run their course but also don't don't always see everything as you know everybody's against you and every like nothing is ever your fault like it's always that person's problem for having a problem with you be willing to accept that you're wrong sometimes be willing to accept your fault be willing to humble yourself and accept that in some situations you were in the wrong and not everyone is just against you like if people keep constantly having the same problems with you then maybe there's something wrong with you do you know what i mean anything i'm saying in this video is not necessarily things i personally went through it's just things i learned along the way you know from other people or from wherever so something else i learned is that you know boys will come and go like boys will come and go listen to me boys will come and they will go like that one boy that you have a crush on that doesn't like you back or you know maybe i don't know like whatever boy drama like there's so many instances of that that i can give you but whatever boy drama you're going through is not worth it like boys will come and go that's not the 
first boy you will encounter that might not be the last boy you will encounter like boys will come and go so those problems that you're dealing with with boys aren't as big as they look right now and definitely definitely do not let any boy issues or drama affect any of your friendships or relationships with your girls or whoever like don't let stuff like that get in between you because unless of course that your friend is like not a good friend but you know what i mean like these things don't matter down the line it's those genuine like friendships that you made that will matter so don't ruin those because of some guy that you have a crush on like he's probably not even that cute like you're going to grow up and be like hey what was i doing like so yeah it doesn't matter another thing i've learned is that it's okay to not know right now and that goes for everything and anything that you don't know but mainly like with life and maybe what you want to do with your life and all of that it's okay not to know like life is so long and there's so much time for you to figure it out don't beat yourself up about it don't because it's not going to be worth it you have so much time i always found it like so strange that you know at least in nigeria we graduate at 16 and then you go to university or college and you're supposed to decide what you want to do for the rest of your life at the age of 16 like that's actually wild to me like what like why is this a system that is happening like how are kids because a 16 year old is a kid how are kids supposed to decide what they want to do for the rest of their lives at the age of 16 like it's okay if you don't know and i know that's like easier said than done because you know there's so much pressure from everywhere from your parents from social media you know everyone's trying to make it big and make it quick but like i'm telling you right now that there is time you have time and take that time because this is when you have it you know so don't stress too much about not knowing because no one really knows like literally i'm working now and i'm meeting people that you know before i go into the industry i had this one like perspective of these people and now that i'm like working i'm seeing that no one really has their ish together like everyone is figuring it out as they go and we're all in the same boat like as long as you're trying that's all that matters okay like don't don't stress too much you're so young this time okay age isn't just a number okay age is not just a number girls any boy not even boy any man that's trying to tell you that oh my god you're so mature for your age or you know we should date like a 20 something year old man <laughs> or 30 something in some cases i've heard of trying to tell you that age is just a number and you know you're seeing your friends dating older guys and i don't know maybe getting money from those guys i promise you right now that it is not worth it age is not just a number like there's nothing a sane older man like someone that actually has like their sh together and is mentally okay there's nothing they're looking for with you it's actually well the things that i look back on and the men that would try to talk to me or my friends when we were just like 14 years old like men like it was actually crazy like there's nothing that they have no business with you like i understand you know wanting to lie about your age or wanting to you know be with an older person because it's fun and it's exciting and it's flattering you know that and that someone so much older than you is interested in you but it's not worth it you have nothing in common with them they have nothing to offer you you have nothing to offer them you know those people you find usually don't have good intentions for you and it's just weirdo behavior okay it's weirdo behavior so let's let's not do that let's avoid men like <laughs> as a teenager avoid men trying to talk to you you know there's nothing they can offer you really check who your friends are okay like that girl that is telling you how her 30 year old boyfriend is buying her this and that 
today it's all fun and games and it's all cute tomorrow you will see where she'll end up and where you will be do you get what i mean don't follow your friends just because they're your friends have a mind of your own really think for yourself because friends don't always have the best intentions for you friends don't even know like these people they, they don't know like they're your age like how can this person that's your age be so much wiser like don't listen to your friends for everything use your own judgment and i promise you your judgment is right i trust you i trust your judgment so make good choices don't just do things because your friends are doing it it's like it's not worth it be you that's what makes you stand out the fact that you are you and not your friends or whoever another thing i think i i learned is not to be afraid to stand up for myself and for what i believe in and for what i want especially being nigerian you know there's a lot of expectations and your parents will tell you this is what is right and this is what is wrong in terms of like your life decisions and career wise and stuff like that education wise don't be afraid to stand up for what you want like what do you want to do with your life it's your life you know you have to fight for it it's like in my family you know my sisters are both we're both science students and i was the only one who was like that is not for me that has never been for me and i knew i've always known who i am like from a very young age and so have my sisters and my parents kind of knew too they are our parents and they were raised a certain way they they think or they thought that these are the professions that are best for our kids and don't get me wrong like parents usually have good intentions for you like your parents don't hate you they are not trying to ruin your life like they don't hate you they just want the best for you and sometimes we don't know what the best thing is for ourselves and that's true and so they try to guide us and help us through it and sometimes they make us do things or it feels like they're forcing things on us but they usually have good intentions but you too like if you know what is best for you then don't be afraid to say it don't be afraid to say this isn't what i want to do with my life i don't want to be a doctor i don't want to be a lawyer like i don't want to be whatever or maybe you do like don't be afraid to just like speak up for yourself and really advocate for what you want because it will be worth it in the end and and you know you want to start doing that like sometimes you have to make your parents upset you have to like argue with your parents obviously like i'm not telling you to disrespect your parents or anything but if you ever truly want even a little bit of freedom you gotta argue with them a little bit you gotta speak your mind you gotta you gotta argue with them just a little in terms of school i would just say you know that one bad grade is not going to ruin your life okay that one bad grade is not going to be the end all be all and this is something that i'm still learning there's so much more than your scores there's so much more than your achievements you're so much more than your losses you're so much more i know sometimes you might feel like you're trapped and you can't wait to escape you can't wait to grow up and you know start doing whatever you want whenever you want but i can't stress this enough this is one of the most freeing times of your life this is this might be the time in your life where you have the most freedom honestly just because you don't have those responsibilities you literally um you're not paying bills you're not you know worrying about how you're going to eat your next meal you're not worrying about you know how you're going to pay rent or school fees or whatever you don't have all these responsibilities you're free you're free to sleep whenever you want you're free to do whatever you want really really cherish these moments i'm telling you really really cherish these moments because like i said it might not feel like that sometimes but when when those moments are happening anymore you're going to realize and you're going to be like damn i really took that for granted and speaking of cherishing moments moments with your friends moments with your family i know you know sometimes you get mad at your parents you'd rather hang out with your friends or you'd rather do this or you'd rather do that but you know time is moving time is moving our parents aren't going to be 
as young anymore like it's actually sad to think about but your parents are growing up they're aging you know we all are and there's no time like now there's no time like today like you won't be as healthy as you are today ever in your life like you're still young this is the time to really cherish those moments with your family and with your friends and with all the people you love put your phone down go outside go out go have dinner on a dining table with your family because there will be a time where you won't see your parents for a couple of days or you won't see your friends for years maybe even because everyone's going their separate ways like that will happen so make sure you're cherishing those moments take videos take pictures live and be happy right now another thing i learned is that things will always get better like you today will not be you in a year's time when i tell you that this piece of advice is something that keeps me going like all the time like every single day like it really really does anytime anything happens anything literally i could get a pimple I, and speaking of i could get a pimple like i'm breaking out like crazy even when i get like a pimple or something i don't like stress about it i literally just think this won't be here in a couple of months like this won't be here this time next year like even when i get like a scar or a bruise or anything like that like i don't they, they don't seem as big to me anymore because it's like whatever it'll pass you know what i mean and that's a really good way to look at things i think another piece of advice is that your body is still developing appreciate your body love your body she does so much for you it does so much for you like there are people who are fortunate enough to have like functioning body parts or whatever like really appreciate your body thank your body admire your body love her because she's going to change so much in the next couple of years like i heard that girls go through like three puberty your body is just constantly changing so don't beat yourself up because you don't look like an instagram model or because you don't look like whatever like nobody cares first of all second of all your body has not finished developing your body actually just started developing there's a long way to go you're going to grow into your body enjoy the process enjoy the journey and really like be grateful that it's even functioning in the first place you know there's the generic not everyone is going to like you which is another thing that i struggle with because i just want everyone to like me because i'm like why don't you like me another thing i learned is that you don't have to explain yourself to anyone like you literally do not have to explain yourself to anyone if someone has heard something about you and they choose to believe it without trying to hear your side then that's actually their problem like you don't owe anything to anyone you don't need to explain anything to anyone let people believe what they want to believe another thing is protect your peace don't let anyone disturb your peace anyone that's trying to disturb your peace tell them to respectfully i really want to listen to some niger throwbacks i want some do me come on Okay, I'm running a little late now, but this is the finished look. I hope you like it. That's basically all the tips I have for you. I think the biggest takeaway is don't be too hard on yourself. You're still so young. There's still so much life ahead of you to be lived. So no pressure, you know, no pressure. I'm putting in my fake piercings, guys. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Okay? See ya. Catch ya later. Bye.